All right, hey YouTube, here's my attempt at a Altoids Survival 10. This is not using a Survival, or I'm sorry, an Altoids 10. It's more a uh, hinge 10 I got off Amazon. But without delay, let's get to this kit. So first of all, have this little uh, laminated inventory list to see what's in the kit, so you don't have to open it up every time. Next, we have three total large Ranger bands. These are from Wazoo Survival. Pretty good quality can be used for fire starting as well as helping as you can see here to somewhat waterproof the kit keep it all together you can also cut them up to make many smaller rubber bands so let's get to this tin all right first of all I placed a little um, two by two acrylic mirror as you can see there um, got off Amazon for signaling as well as the uh, reflective tape DOT safety reflective tape for signaling as well um, have a little fresno lens fire starting you know medical purposes mostly for fire starting though wazi survival one liter water reservoir can be used for purification of water including boiling over coals and to go along with that a little uh, paper coffee filter so this can be used to filter out sediment when placing the water into the reservoir as well and then you can you know dry it out and reuse it multiple times one sheet of write in the rain notebook paper, writing messages, recording things. I have two of these uh, large paper clips here. If I can get it out. Um, as, it, as you can see, I made a little hook in the, in the inside of it. It doesn't affect the functionality, but it adds a little bit more um, purpose if you need a hook for whatever reason. Next, we have a, this is about 10 feet of micro utility cord. Atwood Survival, 100-pound um, breaking strength, good to have cordage. Little packet of triple antibiotic ointment, try to prevent any infections before they occur. Two floss single packets. So this is about 20 inches uh, each, so 40 inches total if you tie them together. And the idea behind this is additional cordage, as well as a way to tie off the top of the water reservoir to help to purify the water. Um, wax candle this is a beeswax candle and I'll explain a little bit more what this is for but obviously uh, fire starting and then warmth this is a sear compass from County Com moisture less so it won't freeze and uh, low profile easy to keep on you for navigation this is an, actually another of the um, 2x2 two two mirrors and uh, as you can see I didn't peel off the film just to protect it nor did I take off the adhesive. So idea behind this is keep it in your pocket. That way you don't have to open the kit if you're trying to signal uh, for an aircraft or for rescue. So I actually have two of these mirrors total. Eye drops, uh, cut this down just to make it a little more low profile, but contains approximately 10 drops in each container. So um, five different uses if you're using a drop for both eyes. Good to have if you're working around fire and tired. Uh, the little Wazi Survival. This is a uh, ceramic blade and ferro rod striker. So little little uh, chisel ground blade, pretty sharp, and then a pretty thick ferro rod. So multiple fire capabilities. Two the four inch zip ties. Nothing fancy there. Just additional ways to fasten and fix things. Um, this is a Leatherman PS4 multi-tool. Contains uh, spring-loaded pliers, which is nice. Kind of a, a wire cutter there, um, as well as has a decent blade. I'm gonna get this laying out of the way. Decent little blade. So a backup blade. I guess this would be your primary. The ceramic one could be your secondary, as well as it's got a pair of scissors, a file, and then your standard. Uh, little uh, screwdriver and stuff so pretty compact well made multi-tool Wazi survival emergency whistle little uh, streamlight nano light for seeing in the dark and they claim these will last up to 64 hours that's probably varying levels of brightness the last one being almost unusable but good to have some light this is a little split ring Include this so that I could create lanyards for everything, compass, uh, ferro rod, uh, the light, whistle, whatnot, and then I could 
put them all in one spot and then keep them on me so I'm not gonna lose all those little uh, tools. A couple of safety pins, large safety pins, along with paper clips have a bunch of uses. This is a Tindy roll. This is a concept I created. I'll put the video link up top for that concept. Um, but the idea is a way to contain fire tinder. So this is a little adhesive match striker. I also have one, as you can see, in the bottom of the kit. And then I placed two stormproof matches along with a Wazzy Survival Wax Tinder tab. So just multiple ways to start fire. Little uh, can opener, in case you find some canned goods you can eat. This is a five call supply tender quick. So just a different form of tender, you can kind of fluff it up. And this is where the, the candle comes into play. So idea behind this is I would fluff it up, strike a ferro rod to create a flame. I would then light the match with the, or the candle with the flame, blow this out. Now I have a prolonged flame that I can use then to get a fire going if I don't want to burn up my tinder on one fire attempt. And then I can use this little piece of uh, tinder quick multiple times to do the same purpose of creating a flame and then lighting the candle. So that's the idea behind that. Aqua tabs, four of them. So roughly four liters of water purification capability. And then uh, about a foot of flat folded Gorilla tape multiple uses, including fire starting, and then a little uh, Victorinox tweezers. And lastly, a little Victorinox uh, pressurized pen to go along with the uh, paper. So that is my survival tin. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.